We are tracking rain for parts of our area. Meteorologist Lauren Casey here. Lauren, friends down the shore tell me, and I quote, it is literally monsooning here. Oh, okay. Good to fresh, know. Fresh I like reports, that. Observations are monsoons. They're, that's very good. It's called ground truth, confirming what we're seeing on radar, as I did on the sky deck earlier. <laughs> right? So I'm glad we have that confirmation. Yeah, kind of a spoiler of a night down the show with some of that heavy rain moving through. We're just seeing some sprinkles right now in Center City, Philadelphia, as we get a live look at Logan Square. Pretty looking scene. That's nice. A pleasant evening so far. We do have rain moving in, though, but it's going to be moving back out. Leaving us a mainly dry Sunday afternoon. Then, as we head into next week, it is going to get hot and steamy, something it really hasn't been in August so far. We've only had one day in the 90s so far. I know, hard to believe. And we do have a chance of pop up thunderstorms pretty much every day as we head into next week. So, a much more typical summer like pattern will take over. But right now, we're dealing with a coastal area of low pressure that is bringing that monsooning down the shore right now, where we see these heavier pockets of rain. But the rain over Spreading the area it was moving very slowly, the leading edge of the precipitation shield, but really over the last hour, blossoming right now up into Delaware County, Chester County, Monco. Again, very light in intensity, but the intensity will start to pick up. That's definitely happening right now in Cape May County. The rain pouring down. Same case in the northern Delaware beaches, but you're finally starting to clear out along the southern shore there as that rain lifts on up with our area of low pressure. You can almost see that counterclockwise circulation with our area of Low pressure that's going to ride right along the coast as we head through the overnight period and into tomorrow morning. So, current conditions, yeah, we're reporting heavy rain in Wildwood, moderate rain in Dover, some light rain in Wilmington right now. Nothing coming down just yet as for a surface OBS in Philadelphia that will likely change in the next hour. So, areas of rain, particularly long and south and east of I 95, with that heaviest rain to the far south and east, low temperature down at 67 degrees. And then for our day tomorrow, could see some spotter showers lingering mainly in the morning. Can't rule out a rapid Brown shower in the afternoon. Otherwise, not a bad day. Some clouds around 85 degrees, pretty comfortable with some late day clearing and down the shore showers in the morning. Clouds for much of the day, kind of same case, late day clearing. High temperatures held back a bit by that cloud cover highs only in the upper 70s. Future weather showing us contending with that heavy rain that will spread up into Atlantic County as we head into the next couple of hours, Ocean County into the three o'clock hour, and then eventually moving on out by 6 a.m. Some lingering areas of rain, mainly constant. Concentrated along the coast and for South Jersey. And then we clear things out. Clouds still stick around. Here's our area of low pressure. So, still moving pretty slowly. Again, could see a wraparound shower, very isolated in nature, not going to cause too much of a problem. Then things quiet down completely as we head into tomorrow night. Our latest model run of this particular model, it was giving us almost next to nothing as far as rainfall totals in Philadelphia. Now, over a half an inch as that precipitation shield is doing a more effective job pushing up towards the I 95 corridor. But again, the heaviest concentration. Of rain is going to be at our shore points in far interior southern New Jersey. We could see some localized flooding, so do keep that in mind. As we head into Monday, we start to heat things up and then heat things up big time into Tuesday. 90s return, and we keep it there. Wednesday, Thursday, even into Friday. Those heat indices could be in the 100s by Thursday and Friday before drier and cooler air moves in for the start of next weekend, Joe. Yeah, but about that rain down the shore, it quote, got real heavy on the roof in the last few moments. Okay. It's coming down down there. I mean, that's pretty much exactly what I said. Exactly. To a T. Thank you, Lauren <laughs> Casey.